Hello, welcome to White Davy Gardening and Worm Farm. If you like my channel, then please press the subscribe button. Thank you. As you know, the growing season is here or almost here, depending on what region you are in. So in about four weeks, the growing season will begin. And so I am making all the preparations that I can in order to be ready when the growing season starts. So today's preparation, I am preparing to combat cutworms because they devastated a lot of my crop last year. So what I'm doing, I have been collecting tissue roll and paper towel rolls for the paper towel rolls I cut them in pieces and then I cut them along the side I'm going to show you in a little bit what I do with that to make sure that it is as effective as it can be for the cutworms this also is another roll it is very thick and i put the cut in here because this is where i'm going to open it to put it around the plants now this because it is so thick it maintains its shape so when i cut it it just goes right back to where it was so it is closed up it's not open this however is open so it doesn't really hold the shape and in order to store it i have been flattening it as well so i'm just gonna go through and cut all of them these ones are, are already cut then i will show you what i'm going to do with them next I don't waste time trying to take this little piece of tissue off because it is good for the garden anyway. So I will continue collecting these until the growing season is here and I'll continue to do this prep. So what I'm going to do now is take a few of them, put them together. Because the purpose of this is to keep the cutworms away from your plants. So you want to ensure that you don't leave any opening for the cutworms to get in or at least you reduce the openings. So what I'm going to do is roll this as tightly as I can. And then I'm going to put an elastic around it to keep it in shape. That way when I'm ready to use it, it will be tight or overlap itself around the plants. Now, how do you use it in the garden? You're going to put this around your plant. You're going to bury half of it in the soil around your plants. And the other half, you need to have at least one inch up above your plants because the cutworms, when they come up out of the soil, the first part of the plants that they catch, that's the part that they will start feeding on. So you need to have at least one inch on the upper part of your plants. And then this is going to be buried around your plants in the ground. You might be wondering what this container of cornmeal is for. They will 
feed, the cutworm, cutworms will feed on the cornmeal. They cannot digest it and so they will feel full. The cornmeal will swell within them and cause them to die. So that is the purpose of the cornmeal. So when I'm ready to transplant my seedlings, when I create the holes that I'm putting the plant in, I'm going to be putting around the perimeter inside the holes cornmeal so that when the cutworms come up from the soil, they will reach to the cornmeal before they actually get to my plants. So it will cause them to stop and eat because what they're doing is searching for food. So the first thing that they see as food is what they will go for. So I'm going to be putting the cornmeal so that they will come across the cornmeal first with the hope that that will be enough to keep them away from my plants in addition to having these to keep them off my plants. So I'm just going to keep doing this and store them. I wanted to have more but it is a bit of a challenge to get my husband to remember not to throw them out <laughs> so for that reason I don't have as much as I would like another method that you can use to reduce the risk of cut ants or sorry cutworm damage is to not plant out all your crops the moment the growing season begins you can allow a week or two to pass, especially if you're starting from seedlings because then you already have the plants. So it's not as if you're in a hurry to get the plants started. So in that case, you should have, you should have enough time where you can actually wait for a week or two to pass. So that if there's things like weed or other plants in your garden that you don't necessarily want in there, the cutworms will go after these first. And by that time, their eggs or their larvae may hatch and then you won't have to worry about them cutting down your plants. Okay, so this is how I prepare for potential pest in my garden. In this case, for the cutworms. If you enjoy my video and you would like to see more informative videos like these, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the section below. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and turn on your notification for more updates like these. Thank you so much for watching and have yourself a wonderful day. Yemen, yeah, it's time to grow.